This is a story of hope. Zoom through the galaxy with Roswell and meet his friends and family from a distant planet called Pluperter. Find out why the Pluperterians must find a new home. See how similar Pluperterians and Earthlings are. Travel through the galaxy with Roswell on his action-packed adventure to Earth. Watch a rundown, dreary town come alive, where people stop caring, believing, and hoping. Experience their struggle to purify their waters and replenish their land in order to survive. Discover how people learn a lifelong lesson from an outer being who miraculously transforms into a little human boy. Glide through the galaxy as a heartwarming secret unfolds and learn the true reason why this outer being was destined to take the journey to Earth. This is a magical tale of mystery, hope, and adventure that tells the story of a brave young boy who finds that he's not your everyday outer being. Join in as his adventure unfolds before your eyes. Now you and other Earthlings will realize that all your dreams and wishes can come true on this wonderful and beautiful planet Earth, if only you believe. In the distant galaxy, far beyond the stars, there was a hidden planet between Pluto and Jupiter. Scientists that explored this region had named it Pluperter. Unlike other planets, Pluperter occupied two galaxies. Therefore, it had two distant suns that burned very brightly, the eastern sun and the western sun. This planet was extremely beautiful. It had miles and miles of beautiful green rolling hills. Flowers, fruits, and vegetables grew everywhere. It was paradise, a paradise called Pluperter. The inhabitants of this planet were known as Pluperterians. The Pluperterians consisted of many races, colors, and creeds and lived in harmony with each other. They were always trying to learn from each other, for they believed knowledge helped them grow. Unlike other known extraterrestrials, the Pluperterians' ancestors' knowledge was implanted into the mind of their children at birth. This made them extremely intelligent at a very young age. But one day, something unexpected started to happen on Pluperter something that all of the Pluperterians' knowledge and experience could not have prepared them for. Their eastern sun began to burn out. Without the eastern sun, life on Pluperter would certainly begin to change. Without both suns burning brightly, flowers, fruits, and vegetables would start to wither. Nothing would grow on Pluperter as it had before. The Plupertarians didn't know what to do, so they went to Kaleida for help. Kaleida was one of the wisest Plupertarian space travelers of her time and had earned the respect of all Plupertarians. Many years ago, Kaleida and her team of space travelers went on a mission in search of new life forms on neighboring planets. Their mission took them to the planet Earth. The mission was unsuccessful. Kaleida was the only being from her crew to return with important data and information about Earthlings, which would be helpful to the Plupertarian nation. Shortly after her return, she was married to King Clyde and became queen of the Plupertarian nation. They had a son soon after, whom they named Roswell. Kaleida would tell the Plupertarian stories about her experiences on Earth. She had described how Earthlings were very different in the way they look and also in the way they act compared to Plupertarians. They were very frightened by our appearance and immediately retaliated with force, unlike the response of a Plupertarian. She described the beauty of planet Earth. There were beautiful hills and valleys, Plants and flowers grew everywhere. There were also huge masses of water and mountains that soared above the clouds, very similar to Pluperter. Queen Kaleida and King Cly now realized 
that Earth would be the only suitable planet on which Plutarians could survive. The effects of the eastern sun were more devastating than they had anticipated. They called a meeting to explain their plan to the Plutarian nation. Kaleida explained that Earth had only one sun, and it seemed to burn brighter and hotter than both the eastern and western suns of Jupiter. Plutarians would be able to survive, learn, and grow there, just as they do on Jupiter. The king and queen knew there wasn't much time before the light of Jupiter's eastern sun would burn away. To add to their present situation, radar had detected an asteroid storm heading directly toward Jupiter. This particular storm was unstoppable for Jupiter's laser blast squadron, and would certainly destroy the planet and all its inhabitants. The king and queen knew they must act swiftly to save the Plutarian race. The Plutarians had to prepare an immediate mission. They knew they would have to send someone to the planet Earth. Queen Kaleida knew she would not be able to travel on this mission again. She knew there was only one Plutarian who could successfully complete this huge task. It had to be her only son, Roswell. <laughs>